Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create these cool radio wave outline effects. So in order to begin, I've just got my clip loaded into After Effects. And the first thing I actually want to do is create a mask out of our subject of the photo. So I'm going to go to the top and grab my rotor brush tool at the toolbar. I'm actually going to work on a duplicate copy of this layer. So I'll just press Command C, Command V, just so we always have the original normal layer underneath. And on this copy, I'm going to double click this layer. It'll open up the layer in its own window. And this is the roto brush menu that I can begin working with. So I'm going to put my playhead of my timer at the very beginning. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here so I can see what's going on. And the way the roto brush tool works is you have your brush. You can actually go to window brushes. If you want to increase the size of your brush, you can see it get bigger. And if you, and you can begin on a frame where your subject is mostly in view and click and paint in the general outline of what you're trying to select. So you see it'll create this pink outline of what it thinks is, is the right image. If for some reason you missed a spot, you can kind of fill it in. And you can also hold option, it'll turn the brush red and you can paint out sections if they overextended themselves a little bit. So once you have your main selection ready, you want to make sure these chevrons here are all the way expanded throughout the entire duration of the clip that you want to select. And you want to press freeze on this button. It'll work its way back and forth from your point and using what the information that you gave it, it'll try to follow the edges and the contrast of that image. Sometimes it might mess up. You can always stop the propagation here of, of the freezing and continually manually paint in and out certain frames if you need. But if, you're, if your subject is well defined, then you can just simply let it run. So this might take a little, depending on how many frames are in your clip. I'm gonna let it run and then we're gonna continue once it finishes. Also, if you do want a full separate tutorial on using the Roto Brush, I have full separate tutorials on my channel just on the Roto Brush in After Effects. You can just search Justin Odisho Roto Brush. So once After Effects finishes freezing the frames, you now have in the effects control panel the Roto Brush effect that was applied. So you do have some fine tuning options here for feathering and adjusting the edge and whatnot. But if I go back to my composition window since we were just working on that layer. Now I can see I have two layers. On the top layer, we have our rotoscoped out image. And on the bottom layer, we just have our, our original video clip. And that's great because we're gonna sandwich our effect in between these two so that the effect kind of comes out of the background of our subject. Now there's one more thing I wanna do on our top layer. I wanna create another layer traced from this. So if I go to layer, auto trace, I want to make sure I'm working in the entire work area, not just the current frame. And I'll leave it at alpha, so just the entire shape of the image. And I'm not going to mess with the tolerance and threshold and whatnot, but I'm going to apply it to a new layer. So once I press OK, this will also just go through and auto trace. This will also go through and auto trace each frame and make it a shape with a mask. So I'll give that a minute to let it finish. It depends on how many frames is in your clip. So once the auto trace completes, it'll create this new layer with the shape and mask out. And this is what we needed was the mask. So when I go to the effects and presets panel now, I can find an effect called radio waves in the generate folder. And I can click and drag that onto our auto trace layer. Now in the radio waves effects controls panel, I want to make sure that the wave type is set to mask and it'll just choose the mask of our auto traced image. And you can see now it'll start sending these radio waves out in the shape of the constantly changing mask. But there's a few things I want to change about that. First, I want to change the frequency so I can make a lot more waves happen faster. I can change the expansion so that they expand out of the image. I can also change the start and end width so I can make them start a certain width and end a certain width and also change the fade in and fade out time as well as things like the color. So 
there's a lot of blue going on in this image. I feel like a gold yellow might look good for contrast, but you can make it any color you want. And with the right amount of adjustment between like the fade in, fade out time, the lifespan, you can choose how many seconds it lasts and the frequency, you can make it so that you get this kind of repeating edge. And then once you're ready, you can simply take the auto trace layer and put it, sandwich it in between our rotoscoped image and the original clip. So we've essentially created the original clip, the radio waves, and then brought our subject back into focus. So when I play this back, you'll see the radio waves start to emanate out in the shape of the mask, which looks cool. And they'll constantly just keep radiating out, but it's cool because they're behind our subject. Another cool change you can make is instead of leaving it parameters set at birth, you can change the parameters each frame, which will really align themselves to the mask and give you some pretty cool effect. So not only can you get to this point, you can also add keyframes. So if I wanted the color to change from yellow to blue or something as I went on, I can do that and it'll animate the color gradually from yellow to blue in whatever time frame I want. And you can see all of this when you drop down the layer and you see all these different keyframes under their respective menus. And you can adjust these keyframes and positions. And not only that, you can also add other effects on top of this. So if I wanted to add more styliz stylizing or color effects on, the, on top of this radio wave, I can drag something like a glow or other effects into the effects control panel but you can experiment from here. Hopefully you did enjoy this tutorial on how to create these masked out radio waves behind the subject for some cool music video effects or other ideas. If you did, my name is Justin Odisho. You can subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Stay tuned for all my new videos and find hundreds of more in the playlist on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.